Hi guys, welcome to Dogshala. So today in our video, we are going to see about intranasal androstomy uh, from oral surgery point of view. What is intranasal androstomy? Does anyone know about it? If you have performed or if you have seen or observed intranasal androstomy, do comment in the comment section below. So we can know your experience doing this. So let's just uh, see what intranasal androstomy is. So intranasal androstomy is a surgical procedure that involves entering the maxillary sinus from the inferior meatus. It is entering the maxillary sinus from the inferior meatus via an opening made in the medial wall of the medial wall. Okay, medial wall of nasal. Okay, so it is a one or two, one of the two most common methods to access maxillary sinus. Why do you want to access the maxillary sinus? The main indication is that it is used to treat sinusitis. It may be used to treat acute, recurrent or chronic sinusitis, which is not responding to the conservative management and also during the primary mucociliary abnormality like such as cystic fibrosis. So as you can see in the image here, the cannula is being placed from the inferior meatus that is the from towards the maxillary sinus. So this is how the intranasal androstomy is done. Okay. Then how is the patient positioned? The patient is given either local anesthesia or general anesthesia and he is positioned in the reverse Trendelenburg position. So here you can see the patient is in reverse Trendelenburg position. So the inferior meatus is perforated at the highest point under the genu of turbinate. So if the inferior meatus is perforated, that is a hole is kept under the highest po uh, point under genu of the turbinate. So the perforation is widened and the inferior edge is lowered as much as possible to access the maxillary sinus. Okay, then coming to the risks that are involved with um, this procedure. So since uh, we are involving it with the uh, nose, that which is in very proximity to the eye, there is chance of eye injury, tear duct injury, excess tear production can happen. Nose bleach or epistaxis uh, can happen and orbital injury, blindness, nasolacrimal duct injury, cerebrospinal fluid leak can happen, meningitis and brain abscess and patients with multiple health issues may have more risk. Okay, so these are the risks associated with it. So what you have to know is where it is performed through where it is done. Okay, that's it. So the question that was asked is intranasal androstomy is done through as we have seen, it is inferior meatus. Okay, so please do remember this. So if you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Telegram handles and also in our WhatsApp channel. Thank you and have a nice day.